Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. A squared plus 2ab minus 3b squared is equal to 65. We need to find all possible values of a and b, where a and b are positive integers. Means a is greater than 0 and b is greater than 0. First of all, in this expression, a squared plus 2ab, we add and subtract b squared like this, a squared plus 2 times ab and we add b squared and we subtract b squared minus this 3b squared, 3b squared is equal to 65. Now, this a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is a perfect square and it can be written as a plus b whole squared. And this negative 1b squared minus 3b squared will become negative 4b squared is equal to 65. Next, a plus b whole squared minus this 4b squared can be written as 2b whole squared is equal to 65. Now, we have a difference of two squares by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This a plus b whole squared minus 2b whole squared will become a plus b plus 2b times a plus b minus 2b is equal to 65. Next, a plus 1b plus 2b 3 times b times a this 1b minus 2b negative b is equal to 65. Now, at left side we have product of two factors and this 65, this 65 can be factorized as 1 times 65, 5 times 13, 13 times 5 and 65 times 1. And because A is greater than 0 and B is greater than 0, so this expression A plus 3B must be greater than this expression A minus B. So, this option 1 times 65 will be rejected because 1 is smaller than 65. And this option 5 times 13 will be rejected because 5 is smaller than 13. We have only two cases. Case 1 is 13 times 5 and case 2 is 65 times 1. First, we solve this case 1 13 times 5 in case 1. We write this expression a plus 3 times b times a minus b equal to this 13 times 5, 13 times 5. Now, we write this greater factor a plus 3b equal to this greater factor 13 and we write this smaller factor a minus b equal to this smaller factor 5 like this a plus 3 times b is equal to 13 and a minus b equal to 5. Now, we subtract this equation from this equation. We write here this equation a minus b is equal to 5. 
and we subtract these two equations. Since uh, we are subtracting this uh, positive sign will become negative, this negative sign will become plus and this uh, plus sign will become negative and this uh, positive a will be cancelled out with this negative a and this uh, 3b plus 1b will become 4 times b is equal to 13 minus 5 8. Now from here we divide both sides of this equation by 4. The right side we divide by 4. This 4 will be cancelled out with this 4 and uh, at left side we are left with b is equal to 8 divided by 4 2. So we get the value of b 2. Now to find the value of a in this equation we put this value of b 2. Then this equation will become a minus in place of b we write this 2 is equal to 5 and we move uh, this uh, negative 2 to the right side then a will be equal to 5 plus 2 and a will be equal to 5 plus 2 7. So from here we get uh, value of b 2 and value of a 7. So the first pair of solutions a comma b is equal to 7 comma 2. Now we solve uh, this case to 65 times 1. We write uh, this expression in case 2. We write uh, this expression a plus uh, 3 times b times a minus b is equal to this 65 times 1, 65 times 1. Now we write this greater factor a plus 3b equal to this greater factor 65 and we write this smaller factor a minus b equal to this smaller factor 1 like this a plus 3 times b is equal to 65 and a minus b is equal to 1. Now we subtract this equation from this equation. We write this equation here a minus b is equal to 1 and we subtract these two equations. Because we are subtracting this plus sign becomes negative this negative sign becomes plus and this plus sign become negative. And this positive a will be cancelled out with this negative a and 3 times b plus 1 times b is 4 times b is equal to 65 minus 1 64 and from here we divide both sides of this equation by 4 the right side we divide by 4. This 4 will be cancelled out with this 4 and we get the value of b is equal to 64 divided by 4 16. Now to find the value of a in this equation we put the value of b 16 from here then this equation will become a minus value of b is 16 is equal to 1 and a is equal to 1 we move this uh, negative 16 to the right side it becomes uh, plus 16 and a is equal to 1 plus 16 17. So from here we get uh, value of a 17 and value of b 16 and from this case uh, we get uh, other pair of solutions a comma b is equal to 17 comma 16. So the solution set of a comma b is equal to the first pair is 7 comma 2 and the second pair is 17 comma 16. This is the final answer of this equation.